I used to be terrified of standing in front of mirrors, especially during my adolescent time, because I'd stand in front of the mirror and suddenly I wouldn't recognise the person in the mirror. I thought, who is that? Who, who is that? And I'd, and I'd think, now look, logically I know that that's a reflection of me. I am that person, but I wouldn't know who that person was. Cartoonist Bill Lick has had depression all his life, but he's not alone. One in five Australians will get depression. Our society, unfortunately, still has these strange ideas about depression, that weak people get depressed. If weak people get depressed, then why did Winston Churchill get depressed? Why did Abraham Lincoln get depressed? Why did Charles Darwin get depressed? Depression, dubbed the black dog by Winston Churchill, is one of the biggest medical problems facing the world today. When I woke up early in the morning, when things were at their blackest, I would often think of death, sometimes wish that I hadn't woken up in the morning. I'd say to Liz, I'm, when I wake up in the morning, I, I feel I'm in a hole. I'm, I'm in a deep hole and I've got to try and climb out of it. More than 10 million prescriptions for antidepressants were written last year in Australia. There is definitely a great life out there to be had and I just would, would, would hate for any people that have been, any individuals that have been diagnosed with this particular condition to feel as though it was the end. I have a great life, I'm really happy and, um, you know, definitely there's um, bad days and all that sort of stuff, but there's, there's great ones too. Hundreds of thousands of Australians live with depression. It's a disease that has many variations. Tonight we see how some people not only manage to survive, but to beat the black dog. <laughs> 